In this video, I'm going to show how lacrosse players can improve their performance in their play by developing trust. Bill is a midfielder on his high school lacrosse team. Ever since he was introduced to it at the age of 10, he's been totally enthralled with mastering the sport. He actually enjoys the drills and the practices that his teammates sometimes find boring. He loves working out and conditioning himself to improve his stamina as he knows it makes him a better player. Bill's coach taught him early that lacrosse players need to be constantly moving in order to be effective on the field, right? You know that as a player. But most of all, he's fascinated with the strategies in lacrosse. He reads books and soaks up his coach's advice, and he's totally into it as a student of the game. His dad played lacrosse in college, and he's also been a huge influence on his development. Unfortunately, there's a downside to all this for Bill. He tends to overthink and underreact in games, which sometimes puts him a step behind his opponents. Sound familiar? His dad and coach can see the hesitation, especially when he gets tied up with the ball. His dad says he gets that deer in the headlights look. Lacrosse is a very fast moving sport. If you play it, there is very little time to think you know. Everything that a player's learned in practices and training needs to come out naturally and automatically. Bill, and most athletes for that matter, would improve their performances tremendously by learning and playing with trust. Now this word is thrown around the sports world everywhere, but what does it mean and how do you get it? Well, trust is letting go of the mental need to control. When you have trust in your body's ability to perform the task in competition, it's almost as if something else is directing your movements and not you. For athletes with a need to control issue, this is scary, but it is essential to being able to play in that flow state. And that's where your full talent just shows up naturally. And to develop trust, the lacrosse player must first eliminate the main block to it, fear. So how do you do that? I teach a process to all my athletes where the athlete embraces all emotions, especially including fear, understands that all of them are good and even necessary for our life. And when you truly welcome and embrace your emotions, even the difficult ones like embarrassment and disappointment that come from failures, then you don't fear them. In the short version, overcoming fear, there's only two things to fear in this world. I've been preaching it everywhere. One, physical harm to the body. And two, emotions. There's nothing else. Let go of the fear of emotions and you're basically fearless. Now, trust can emerge. And then the quickest way to build self-trust is to recognize that you already do it in many other areas of your life. And you can practice transferring it over to the field. Think about riding a bike, for instance. If you get on the bike and start thinking about how to pump your legs and move your arms to steer, no, of course not. You trust that once you get on your bike, your body will get you where you want to go. If you drive a car, it's the same thing. Can you connect to that trusting feeling or idea right now in something you do all the time automatically? Brushing your teeth even? How about the trust you have that the sun will come up tomorrow and create a new day? Can you notice the difference in feeling now just thinking about that idea? Can you bring that to the field? Every time you make a successful move, a pass, a defense, or even a score, Think about how trust was a big factor in that and know that you can grow it. Being aware of it is a big first step. And I taught all of this to Bill. He completely turned his game around. His knowledge of the game then became an asset and he used the trust he discovered to become the team's most improved player. Instead of thinking about it, when a pass came to him, his body now automatically moved towards it. He started making better decisions as to who to pass it to. Everything he trained and drilled and learned, everything he worked so hard for, it just began to pay off in games automatically. It was effortless when he dialed into that trust of his abilities. And he 
God out of his own way. Lacrosse success equals superior conditioning, mastering fundamentals, and building self-trust. I'm Craig Sigal. Subscribe to my channel for more powerful tools and techniques and strategies just like this to get better at your sport. Let's do this.